And um, if you see someone that's happy all the time, no matter what, um, find out what they're doing. And, you know, whatever it is they're drinking, I'll have three. No. I, yeah, no. shoot some uh, my way. Can you ship that to Canada? Right. Because things happen. We're I, 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 I sometimes think, and I've heard this voiced by people as broad as Abraham to Muji to... I sometimes think we throw stumbling blocks out in front of ourselves on the road just so we can feel the thrill of getting over them. <laughs> um, and uh, because it's kind of yummy to get past something. So um, it is. There's a, there's it, a lot to be said for that. Woohoo! I did it. And feeling. Yeah. Oh, and it's grand. It, you know, is hard to replace. But. We're going to, as, as, as we move along with the evolution here of the Everyday Connection call, uh, we're going to have some guests from time to time, and we're going to be talking about some tools and some specific things you can do. I promise we're not just going to sit and talk about how wonderful things are, because I know there's things happening out there that are not so wonderful. And um, people wonder, why does it almost yeah. seem like it's getting worse or getting it? Look, the variety has to be there. We're coming at, to a choice point, so to speak. We're, we're at a choice point every moment. And free will and choice don't mean anything unless you're aware the options exist. So there may be earthquakes, hurricanes. Many of these things were happening already. We just didn't have global satellite news and Twitter and Facebook. And, uh, you know, I, I find out about things through Twitter and Facebook before they catch on to it at the news. Um, and... Um, but I don't watch the news much because, you know, people watch the stuff that scares you. Yeah. So it's if yucky. you're going to watch the news, watch it as if you're watching a horror movie. And then when it's over, go, ooh, I'm glad that was just a movie. Otherwise, just don't watch. Why, why would you do that? That's like saying, you know, well, gosh, this, you know, mistreatment but of you... animals makes me upset. And then you watch five hours worth of programming on the mistreatment of animals. That's horrible. You know, well, Rick, there's there's a choice in there as well, though, sweetie, and and I think you would agree with me because you do this all the time. In fact, you remind me of it all the time. Um, I'm watching I'm watching a video that's not particularly you know pleasing because oh look what this person's doing. I don't know if I you know like what they're doing, and then you say yes, but look at that person over there who's doing something about what they're doing, and why don't you just focus over there? So, so again, it's, it boils down to everyday choices about your perceptions and how you take the news. Um, I, like you, very rarely watch the news. However, I do have a few choice news stations, and I watch them simply because they produce as much positive information as they do negative. So if there's, um, yes. if there, if there's a, a child that's sick with a terminal illness, they put as much airtime onto the incredible group of random strangers who have gathered to to help support the family, to help you know support the child financially, to help uh, help push through medical treatment. They give as much airtime to those people as they do to the story of the sick child, and that's imperative. That we have to choose to choose to where to shift our focus to every day. Do you want to look at the people that are out there actively working to make change, or do you want to work, take a look and, and stare a really long time at things that need to be changed? We know what needs to be changed. Okay, so let's just focus on the people who are doing the work to make those changes and support them instead of and continuing this ongoing complaint about the problems that we have. Let us actively work together to co-create solutions. 